Hi, welcome to the Cat's Eye. I'm Jim Juno, and as you can tell by our getup, we are traveling today. We are on the road. We are in Charlotte, North Carolina, where the CIAA basketball tournament is beginning. And with me right now is head coach of the men's basketball team at Virginia Union, Tony Shields. Welcome to the show, Coach. Hey, Jimmy. How you doing? It's, it's, oh, man, it's good to be here, and it's, it's good to be uh, down in Charlotte, North Carolina. Well, let me ask you, Coach, you have drawn Shaw University in the opening round at 8.50 on Tuesday night, February 24th. What can you tell me about them? Well, we've played Shaw twice. Uh, we defeated them in early December, 77-70. Uh, we went to their place. Uh, they were playing extremely well at that time, and they, and they kind of put the wood to us, beat us maybe 76-60. Uh, and so at this point in time, I think it's been a reversal. We're playing well at this time, uh, winning our last five out of eight games, and I think they've lost their last six out of eight games. So it's a kind of reversal. But, you know, Shaw Bears, you know, they have Larry Richardson, who's an all-conference player. They have Karan Reed and Joe Reed, the two inside guys. So we're going to have our hands full. Now, you mentioned that you played them in early in the season in November at Barco Stevens Hall. And we came away with a 77, win, 77 to 70 wins in that game. And then we went down to Raleigh in January, and of course, you know, 79-60 uh, loss to the team. What did what happened um, in the meantime from that game to now? DeAndre Bullock has really turned on the heat. Well, we're, we we was expecting that DeAndre would have that type of year the entire year, but it's a good time for him to start playing that well. You know, a, a kid who played. Three years out of Division One institution, Florida A&M University, and then transferring in—that uh, was our expectation of DeAndre. He's playing very, very well. But uh, for us to be very successful, we need uh, the big three, what we call them. We need Avery Jermerson, we need Ray Anderson, and we need DeAndre Bullock as our, from our guard tandem to all score double figures. Now, in the last game, we're entering this game coming off a tough loss, overtime loss to Chowan University. That was had to be a heartbreaker. We tied the game with Frankie Johnson with a three-pointer at the buzzer, and then of course you know, we fall short in the overtime. But that was an incredible game to watch. Well, I'm glad it was a good game to watch. If we'd have won the game, it'd have been a good game to stomach for me. Yeah. But losing a game, uh, the way we fought. I was proud of my team to come back from eight down with less than two minutes to go and to put the game in overtime on a, on a shot with about two seconds to go. Uh, but, you know, a tough loss because, you know, I never thought that at the end of the season, the way our season went, that at the end of you, we would be playing for something other than just playing to wait till the tournament start. But that game, we were playing for fourth place in, this, in, the, in the North Division. Now you mentioned we're in fourth place. Uh, I'm sorry, we're in the fifth seed. Are you happy with the draw? I mean, you have Shaw, and then after that, if we progress, it's Johnson C. Smith, and then Virginia State. All late games. Are you happy with the drawing? Well, I'm truly not happy with the drawing because I'd rather be playing Thursday, to be honest, Jim. I'd rather be sitting back in first, second, or third and waiting till Thursday to, to open up in the quarterfinals. But it, it is what it is, so we got to get started and we got to play our game and we got to be ready and prepared to play. Uh, Shaw uh, is a tough basketball team. Um, we'll just take it one game at a time, Jim, so we can't predetermine is it a good draw for us because every team in the CIAA at the CIAA tournament is very capable of winning this, this tournament. Now you mentioned the big three. Colton Lewis must, must, against the teams that we're playing on the interior, he's got to be a dominant force. He has to get us a double-double. He's got to stretch the floor with his three-point shooting, and he's got to be a, a force on the rebound and stay out of foul trouble. And then Carroll, as well as Happy, we got to get between the two ten rebounds. And Frankie Johnson and Deontay Moore – has to, you know, uh, give us something when uh, Ray Anderson or the big three are out of the game. So what we got to do, we got to have a complete effort out of everybody. And Ron Whaley will be back this game. He uh, had to sit out the last game. So he, that's an added bonus to us because that gives us more depth on the post. What is the team do now doing well now that, they, that maybe they weren't doing earlier in the season? Well, number one, it starts with rebounding. Mm -hmm. I think – 
every game that teams have out rebounded us, they've beaten us. And every game that we won on the boards, we we won. So I think rebounding, defending, and the most important thing, making foul shots. All right. Well, good luck, Coach. We begin play on February 24th at 8:50 p.m. How do you like playing the late games? Well, you get all day to sit around, and sometimes you know because we get a chance to watch our ladies play both times. If they win Tuesday, when they play Tuesday, and they win Wednesday. So it'll be fun because we get to watch our ladies, and now we can duplicate whatever they may do, especially if they win. And the other part of it. We get to kind of stomach all the butterflies and watch other teams, either they won or they lost. And so when we step on the court, you know, the atmosphere has already been created, and all we got to do is go out and finish. Well, I tell you what, thank you, Coach. And also I want to thank the people, kind people here at the Omni Charlotte that's giving us the facilities to use to create these videos. We thank them for that. And, Coach, good luck against Shaw, February 24th, 8.50 p.m. in the Time Warner Cable Arena, big stage. Thank you very much, Jim. We're excited about it. All right. And until next time, the Cat's Eye. Hi, Jim Juno here with another edition of the Cat's Eye. And we are in Charlotte at the Omni Hotel. Thanks, everybody, for giving us the time and space to hold these interviews. My guest right now is Coach Barvinia Wooten Cherry, head coach of the women's basketball team at Virginia Union. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Jim. Now, you're entering into the tournament as the fifth seed in the Northern Division. You'll be playing St. Augustine's at 4.30 p.m. on February 24th. Is that correct? Yes. Now, this will be the third time that you've met St. Augs. Yes. You've beaten them twice already. Is that beneficial, or is it harder to beat a team three times in a single season? Well, you know, a lot of um, programs talk about it does or it can be a challenge in playing um, teams and having to play them for the third time, although you've beat them twice. I'm just here to say right now we're on neutral, uh, we're playing in a neutral site, and I believe right now it's 0-0. Zero, zero. So I don't really feel like that has an effect on us one way or the other. Now, the neutral site you mentioned is the Time Warner Cable Arena here in Charlotte. and. That's going to be the first time this season for your girls on a big court like that. Is that right? First time this season, yes. Yes, now. Yes. In your experience as a player and as a coach, how different is it playing on a big stage like that as opposed to, like, say, to a smaller arena? Right. No, it is. It's a big difference because right now when you're talking about a larger place, you've got to worry about the depth of the court. Um, a lot of times, you know, when you're making passes, you got to be mindful of the distance between you and the next player. And I think playing on a larger court and you got the fans, you got the bright lights, it's a whole different look than playing on a smaller court. And then when you talk about getting the jump shots up, you definitely mm -hmm. got to get the legs into your shots. And you've also got the animation going on with the, with the signs up above you. And yes. that, is that distracting? My first year it was because mm -hmm. I kept trying to find the score. I had to remind myself I had to look up. Every yes. time I turned around, I had to look up and I had to find it. And so it can be distracting if it's your first year. But being this will be my fifth time to the tournament, mm -hmm. I think I'm pretty well prepared this year. Now, it's your fifth time. You're, you're a star player, for want of a better term. Ashley Freeman, the all-time leading scorer here at VUU. She's playing in her final series of games. Now, has she, and she's performed exceptionally well this year, hasn't she? Yes, yes. And um, what, does she, what does she bring to the team? Ashley just bring, brings to our team that relentlessness. Mm -hmm. She's just going to play. It doesn't matter who she's playing, she's going to show up and play. She brings a lot of the um, intensity that we need when we're playing against teams like St. Mm -hmm. We really feel like they, we match up well. They've got team guards on their team that like to push the ball in transition. They can shoot as well, and they get out at us against the defensive end. And then Ashley normally matches that. So I'm excited about Ashley and what she's done for Virginia Union these last four years. And I feel very strongly she's going to do well for us on Tuesday night. Now, you mentioned this is your fifth time here in the, on the big stage. But you've got several players who it's their first time. Trylanda Jennings, who's a starter. Yes. Um, and I believe Kerrigan Awkward is, yes. is, another, is another newbie. Yes. So how, how do you feel it may affect them? Uh, I think it's going to affect them to uh, at least that first half of the game. Mm -hmm. I think they're going to need that first half of the game to kind of get themselves um, adjusted to the court, get themselves acclimated to what goes on when you're playing on a big court. 
and then the bright lights, and then all of the fans. Mm -hmm. So it's going to take them a little time to get themselves together. Being the fifth seed in the north, you're playing the fourth seed in the south, correct? Yes. Are you happy with the draw? Well, you know, we figured like this, regular season is over. I told my team coming out of that game against Juwan that we wanted to end our regular season on a, on a big, you know, uh, win, mm -hmm. in which we did. And we feel like right now it's postseason. Everybody's 0-0. Zero, zero. All right. Well, what do, you, what do you look for in this game? Who, ha who has to perform well in order to be, for VU to be successful? Definitely Ashley Freeman has to perform mm -hmm. well for us because they feed off of her. You know we're a transition team, right. so they're looking to hit her in transition. Lady Walker has been playing phenomenal for us. Mm -hmm. uh, she showed up the other night with the 20 rebounds, right. um, and she had 14 points. Lady Walker, she plays well for us. I, I really feel very strongly we'll do a great job. Jasmine Dancy, we need Jasmine on that left side. She's strong. She's one of our other stronger rebounders. And if we get Shahada Baird healthy, mm -hmm. because you know she's out with her knee, but if we get Shahada in there, she brings the whole team the energy that we need to play um, successful on, on Tuesday night. Well, fantastic. Coach, thanks again for being here tonight. We're going to be talking later on in the week with you, and uh, we're going to be talking more with Ashley Freeman tomorrow because she's our all-CIAA pick yes. uh, for the year. Yes. And that's the only Lady Panther or men's Panther men's team that, that has reached that honor this year. So congratulations to Ashley. Coach, thanks again. Good luck against St. Augs. That is 4.30 p.m. February 24th in the Time Warner Cable Arena. Again, our thanks go out to the Omni Charlotte Hotel, who's giving us the space and the time to do these videos. And we'll catch you later on in the week. All right. Thank you, Mr. Juno. No problem. Thank you, Ms. Wooten-Cherry. Right. <laughs> okay. So. okay.